Hey everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. And this question and answer session will help you a lot to prepare yourself for MRCS exam. So here this is the question. A 78 years old man is due to undergo an end arterectomy of the internal carotid artery. Which of the following nervous structures are most risk at this dissection? So in this question, the key point is 78 years old men undergo end artery to me. That means exploration of the artery and this artery is the internal carotid artery and we know this internal carotid artery it is located at the neck area then which of the following nerve structure is most likely risk of injury during this dissection so we have to find out a nerve which is very close to the internal carotid artery and during the end artery procedure this artery may get damaged here the answer options options are a recurrent laryngeal nerve sympathetic saying hypoglossal nerve phrenic nerve and lingual nerve so we have to find out one of the nerve which may be get damaged during this procedure so here we can see the end artery procedure in which the different types of clamp is inserted and during the clamping and end artery procedure the nerve which is very closely located to this area may get damaged here we can see the nerve which is present in this area first of all we can see this is the nerve which is the vagus nerve vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve on the other hand we can see there is another nerve which is very close now this is the hypoglossal nerve but here we can see this is these two are the external and internal carotid artery and we can see in case of common this is the common carotid artery and at the location of the common carotid artery there is the vagus nerve so the vagus nerve may be damaged during this procedure the hypoglossal nerve it also may be get damaged due to the clamping or the procedure of the end arterectomy in the second picture we can see this is the nerve and if this is the another nerve this is the vagus nerve and here it is the glossopharyngeal nerve so the glossopharyngeal nerve vagus nerve and another nerve that is the greater auricular nerve they may be get damaged during this procedure so here we can see this is the hypoglossal nerve because the hypoglossal nerve may be damaged during this procedure and we can see three important nerve may be damaged during the endotomy one is the hypoglossal nerve another one is the greater auricular nerve another one is the superior laryngeal nerve not a recurrent here we can see this is the recurrent but there is the superior laryngeal nerve so hypoglossal nerve greater auricular nerve and superior laryngeal nerve